No, we're neighborhoods. all on Brandon Mill, but we're all different, different neighborhoods. neighborhoods. Yeah. And what are the two parks that are uh, uh, in your area? Abernathy, Linear, and uh, Lost Corners. Yep. New park. Is this the first time you've asked the city for uh, yeah. support? We were here last year, too. Yeah. And what was their response last year? Um, they were receptive, but obviously we didn't get on the, on the in the budget. How, how many miles of sidewalks do you need, do you think? Uh, we're about 1.4 yeah. miles. We've got about, we need about another mile. We've got them at the north end and the south end. Probably even a little less than. Maybe even a little less. Mile. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you have an anticipated cost on that? Do you know? Um, about a million and a half is the last word I heard from, uh, and I we think, sat down with some of the city guys, right? That's yeah. right. And I, Well, I think it may be closer to a million, but yeah, somewhere between a million and a million. And so, when the city, when you brought this up to the city last year, what did they say when you when you brought it to their attention? It's about prioritization, right? Because they have a scoring system, so they kind of take the politics out of this. Is the, is the goal? And uh, I think our thoughts are, as things have changed with the parks coming online, is how about rescoring and reprioritizing? Because you've got seven or eight neighborhoods and almost 2,000 people attached to this that have to traverse Brandon Mill to get to the parks. The only way to do that safely is via automobile. And we think that's kind of insane, right? Well, what's what's political about sidewalks? I don't understand. It's just a, it's just a matter of which neighborhoods are going to get the money first. Um, a lot of people in our neighborhood looked at the, for instance, there was the construction of the sidewalk on River Valley. It's a similar stretch, similar length, uh, similar traffic load, similar in that it's got a few different neighborhoods coming off of it. They did a big project to put in the River Valley sidewalks, I don't know, about five years ago. Right. And yeah. uh, and we would we would like the same thing. We think that it's, it'll serve about the same number of people. I think the city recognizes that it needs to be done. So they already own the right of way. The city does. That's right. But we they talked to neighbors, we put flyers we out in Brandon support. Mill, and, and, and probably 90% of the people that responded said, yes, we'll give up what we need to get sidewalks. So there's, there's a lot of support there. The okay. other thing is, if you ever go down Brandon Mill and actually walk it like we have all done. The Fulton County government almost put sidewalks in 50 years ago. They were ready to go, they put gravel in, and they just never put the concrete in. Exactly. So it's been graded. It's actually been graded, and no trees would be impacted. There was one tree and it was diseased, they've removed it. So there are some issues with uh, topography, we understand that, but uh, we also understand that it will connect two parks, there's a school involved, and we also uh, help the rest of the citizens. So, so what's your next step, guys? What are you going to do? Um, we're just going to keep making noise, and hopefully we're going to get some positive feedback from city council.